What's going on, gearhead? So today we're playing with the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel from GM. I'm going to show you four basic maintenance items that you need to know whether you're in the market for one or you already own one. It's going to save you a ton of money. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. So here we are, we're under the hood. Let's talk about the most obvious. It looks just like a normal engine, doesn't it? But the first thing that you need to know is these engines themselves have two batteries. So when your batteries die, you need to replace them. It's not going to be the cost of one. It's actually going to be the cost of two. There's one right here and there's one right on the opposite side. Diesels require a lot of cranking power to turn over. That's why there's two batteries. So when your battery dies, just take into consideration that it's going to be more than just one you're going to be replacing. So the second most obvious thing that we're going to look at is going to be the air filter. All engines have air filters. You're going to want to do this maintenance yourself and it's something that's required. It's going to cost about 35 to 40 bucks. Do it yourself, you can save a ton of money. That's the number two item. Let's look at the number three item that's required for maintaining a diesel. So the third item that I wanna talk about is gonna be the fuel filter. Yeah, I'm standing next to a tire here because you can't see it, but this is something that's super simple to replace that you can do at home. If you go to the GM dealer, it's gonna run you sometimes about 200 to $275, depending where you're at. But folks, this is something that has to be done. It's not an option. So you're gonna remove the liner and you're gonna remove the wheel itself and it's right behind here. Super simple process, just like replacing your oil. That's the third item. So now you're probably thinking I'm super crazy, right? Cause I'm sitting right here next to the gas tank. Well, when you own a diesel, the fourth item you need to know is the fact that you have to put diesel exhaust fluid into these things. It's gonna go right here in the blue. This is something that's not an option. It's required for the motor to run. Now, you're not gonna put it in as often you will diesel fuel right here, but you're probably gonna need to add it about every 3,000 to 5,000 miles, depending on your driving. So take that price into consideration as well. So gearheads, we've talked about the four items so far. So let's go ahead and recap. You've got the air filter, which is a given on any vehicle, right? You have your two batteries, which are required for the amount of cranking power you need for a turbo diesel such as this. The third item is gonna be that fuel filter that has to be replaced. Most people who own gasoline cars never touch the fuel filter. On this one, it's required. You have to do it in certain intervals. But luckily for you, the cost is super cheap. It can range anywhere from about $30 to $40 to do it yourself. Now, if you go to the dealership, $200 to $275. Now, for the fourth one, it's going to be your diesel exhaust fluid. This is required to continue to drive the car with current EPA laws that are in place. If you run out of death, the truck will not run. But the cost of adding this is pretty cheap. It's not that expensive. You can buy it in bulk at truck stops or you can buy it at any local retailers. So now you know. So gearheads, with the basic maintenance items aside, whether you're in the market for a turbo diesel from GM or you already own one and you're just wondering how to do your own maintenance, next weekend we're gonna be replacing the fuel filter on this bad boy. It's a pretty quick process. We're gonna do a step-by-step. -step. Stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe. 